my name is Ramona Lynn Miller, and I'm here at the 2011 collection, and I'm here with this beautiful young lady. Yes, I did say beautiful young lady. I was saying, I was liking the young part. Oh, you like, <laughs> you like the young part. And your name is Michelle. Michelle. Jen. Jen. And you are somebody who I hear that's really, really, really big here in Philadelphia. I heard a lot about you from Anthony. Yes, Anthony Henderson. Fashion stylist Anthony Henderson. And he tells me that everything comes from you. Like you are, it, it doesn't happen if you don't put your stamp on it. Well, that, that's very generous of Anthony. There are a lot of people that work very hard to make the Philadelphia Collection 2011 a reality this year, including my amazing co-producer, Melanie Johnson, the city representative. So everybody really uh, works pulled out all the stops. And, and yes, we work together very well as a team. Well, I tell you, I definitely enjoyed all the fashion shows that I saw this year. And what are you wearing this evening? I love that dress. It is hot. This is hot off the rack. I just bought it yesterday. Oh, okay. And it's from Macy's. It's the from the Macy's new Carl Lagerfeld collection. Okay. You know Carl Lagerfeld of Chanel. Right. Probably the only Carl Lagerfeld dress that I'll ever wear. Well, I tell you, you're doing a fabulous job of wearing Thank it. Thank you. It's a very affordable line. Awesome. We're definitely trying to bring more people back to Philadelphia to come back to shop because we're about fashion and style here in Philadelphia. What do you think that we need to do? Is there anything that we need to change or anything we need to add to bring the people back here in Philadelphia to come well, shopping? I think that there always could be room for more people, more boutiques, more designers. I think we're starting with a really fabulous base. Uh, we have wonderful retail neighborhoods, Rittenhouse Square, Midtown Village, Maniung, uh, Mount Airy. All of these places have great, and I know I missed somebody, South Street. But um, there's always something fresh and new that is, you know, adds to the mix. And so what, what we really pride ourselves on here, I think, in Philadelphia, is the number of independent shop owners and designers and, and boutiques we have. And I think that makes us very special as opposed to any other kind of cookie cutter city. So I think we just need to keep at it, and I think we need to toot our horn as much as possible and remind people about all the wonderful things we have here in Center City, Philadelphia. And that's what the Philadelphia Collection is all about. It's about reminding people what we have to offer. You don't have to go to a, um, you know, a suburban mall. We have it all here in Center City. And the great thing about it being here in Center City is that you can use the speed lines, the buses, it can bring you Absolutely. right here. Everything is centrally located. They can Absolutely. Come right here. You can be eco-friendly and cheap. Yes, yes, at the same time. Even if you want to get on your bicycle, you can get on your moped, Absolutely. you can come shop, you know? Absolutely. So, okay, you've been in this for how long now? How long have you been doing this? How long have you been in this? Well, the Philadelphia Collection is, this is only its second year. And the objective was to bring together, there were so many great fashion events that were being done in the fall that um, it was Melanie's idea to bring everybody together so that we could market them under one big umbrella. That was awesome. That way everybody gets more coverage, you know, than they could do individually. And it presents a more concise idea to the consumer. And what we love about it is unlike New York Fashion Week and Paris and all of these that are about next season. I can't even think about this season. This is about the here and now, what you can buy. You can walk in the store and look at something, and you don't have to wait to 2012 to get it. You can buy it right there. Well, has, oh, tell me this. Have the prices of the clothing, has it been reasonable? Most of the fashions that are coming out this year. I think, I think, again, what's great about Philadelphia is that we offer something for everyone. Oh, that's You've great. got the high-end shops great. like Joan Chef and uh, Plage Tahiti and uh, 
of Sophie Carson. And then you've got great little affordable shops like H&M and uh, Arcadia. And so there's something for everybody here, well, no matter awesome. what your price point, as long as you want to be stylish. Well, that sounds good to me. What better way to close out? No matter what your price point, it's just as long as you're stylish and fashionable here at the 2011 collection. Thank you so much for that Thank great you. interview. Thank you. Thank you. This is Ramona Lynn Miller, and I'm here at the 2011 collection with Senator Benton Hughes. And I'll tell you, it's been a fabulous, fabulous evening. And tell me, Senator, what is it that you expect to do, I mean, as far as this fashion thing is going on? What are you going to do as far as jobs, schools, um, housing, all of that? I mean, all this all ties in. I mean, we're here at, New York, at Fashion Week here in Philadelphia, but how are you going to well, what it, are you it, gonna it, bring? it all it all relates together. Um, on, on on Fashion Week, look, this is a this is a celebration of style, exuberance, people's look, how they feel about themselves, and so we want to celebrate celebrate just the art of it. But there's also an economic aspect to it. All right, there's the individual economics. Don't spend any more money than what you can. And don't go broke, looking good, because then you won't feel good afterwards. But the important thing is economically. Fashion is a huge driver to our economy. People work in this industry. They work on, on the retail side, but there's thousands, millions of people who work behind the scenes. And the more we support the industry um, and sensible shopping, smart shopping, the more we're putting people to work. Uh, and when the economy grows, and we really have to get behind the president and his initiative to put millions of U.S. citizens back to work, the more folks are back to work, the more they're spending money. When they spend their money, they want to look good, like you, well, all right? You. And, like and so thank you very much. And you know, when you look good, you feel good, yes, you all right? Yes, when you feel good, you're hopefully you're acting better. So it all relates. And, and we just want to thank Anthony oh, and Anthony. the whole Philadelphia Fashion Week people, the whole crew, the city, the mayor, Melanie Johnson, their office for helping to yes. put all of this together. Yes. And we and really appreciate it. It's Anthony. very important. Senator Anthony works really, really hard, yes, he does. and he talks about you and your wife all the time. So I know that you all have a special place in his heart. Yes, um, it's just an honor to be able to stand here next to you. You have a beautiful wife. Yes, How do you true. keep it all together with traveling, with her doing everything that she does, and tie it all in together? Well, it, it, it really has a spiritual foundation. We have a tremendous sense of faith, uh, and you know we're bi-coastal. You know, my business, be uh, yeah, my business is in the state capitol in Harrisburg. Her business is, is, is making moves in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles. And that's still the foundation here in the United States. And you if, still support her. And absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. It makes her happy. And, you know, Cheryl is a, it's a very positive person. She's a very, she's an activist at heart. You know, her AIDS work, her work for women just in general, her work for the people. How can I not support that? Well, I think that's a, a good marriage and a good union because you both are for the people. Yes, absolutely. You know, so I think that's just a, a perfect marriage, and I wish you all the best. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for the time, and um, may you have continued blessings. All blessings. Thank you, and blessings Thank you to you so also. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here at 2001, celebrity fashion stylist Anthony Henderson, who also dresses the senator's wife, Absolutely. yes, Shirley Ralph. Yes. We're here, and, and he does a very good job. He too. does a good job. So, so she looks he, good. He should continue to keep on dressing her. Absolutely. Right. Did you hear that, Anthony? Senator Vincent Hughes, he, does he dress you sometimes? No, no, no. He, he, Every once in a while, he'll say, "Check this out. Check that out." <laughs> but I, I want him to stay focused okay. on the first lady. Okay, focus on the first lady, Anthony. Did you hear that? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for everything that you're doing here in Pennsylvania, and I know you're just going to keep on going because I know probably you'll go. From the senator, I mean, where, do you, where are you going to go from there? It's all the Lord's blessings. Uh -oh. Whatever okay. he says, that's what we do. All right, future president. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the interview. God bless. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back with more from, from 2011 collection with Senator Vincent Hughes. Thank you.